Hello friends, acquaintances, and enemies of all ages. My name is Combat Bird, and today we'll be taking a look at Little Nightmares, a puzzle platformer developed by Tarsier Studios. Now, while I'll try to keep spoilers to a minimum, to truly experience this game, I highly recommend you play it before watching this video. During Little Nightmares, you play as Six, a young girl who's been trapped on an enormous vessel known as the Maw. Your only real goal is to escape the ship without losing your life. Okay, so the character development is a little bit minimalistic, but this seems completely intentional and helps add to the charm of the game. A lot of the story isn't blatantly thrown at you. This is one of those games that has a lot of subtle details that help reveal a little bit more about what's going on as you progress. And that's great, because honestly, that's where this game excels the most. Very similarly to games like Limbo or Inside, the experience of playing Little Nightmares comes from the atmosphere itself. For games like these, we don't need a 10-page document explaining that we're in a scary situation. We just have to play. During Six's adventure in trying to escape the Maw, there are numerous moments that really set the tone. For example, Six tends to have these episodes when she's hungry where her body suddenly shuts down, barely able to move. It starts off with Six finding food, but doesn't take long before Six is willing to kill for it. And she even starts to prefer it. These little moments start to show that perhaps Six isn't the innocent little character that we've come to know and expect in these types of games, but instead a sinister little monster who only cares about herself. Alright, so we know that in terms of tone, story, and characters, that Little Nightmare does a great job of pulling us in, but does it present itself well? Luckily for us, the answer is yes. The graphical style and the use of lighting makes the game feel fantastic to look at while still keeping an ominous design. The other characters that Six encounters are unlike anything I've ever seen in a video game. With grotesque, pseudo-realistic faces and movements, there's something so unsettling about them. It even feels a little bit reminiscent of Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away. These characters also help represent the chapters of the game, and they're your main foes throughout. Six has to try to sneak past them to get closer to being able to leave them all. This portion of the game is a little more flawed than the atmosphere or graphics, though. Being that this is a puzzle platformer, it can be hard to get working in a 3D space correctly. And as such, there could be a few frustrating moments where Six will run off of an edge because it's difficult to tell which way to move her. She'll also gravitate towards certain objects. This is meant to be helpful by allowing you to be less precise when doing something more obvious, but I had moments like this where the gravitation pulled me into my own death just because I got a little too close to something. These mechanics aren't bad by any means, they just need a little bit more polish. Sure, I had a couple of deaths that I would consider unfair, and the AI had a couple of moments where it didn't know what to do, but these happened infrequently enough to not take me out of my immersion. When it comes down to it, Little Nightmares is an experience worth playing, and I'd recommend it to anyone who's looking for a shorter adventure game. But what did you think of Little Nightmares? It seems like some people are pretty torn about this game online, so I'd love to know what you think in the comments. And that is it for today's video, guys. I know it's a little shorter than usual, but this is the type of game where if I showed much more, you'd have seen most of it. I hope you all enjoyed it though, and as always, have a wonderful rest of your day.